you know, when you're first in addiction, you know, like you're everyone's cool friend because I had a car, I had money, you know, I was the one who was maintaining everyone, right? But then that all came to an end really quickly. My car was stolen, my money ran out, and I had nowhere to go. Like I had cut all ties with my family, like that was it. Like, and the saddest part is that I brought my baby through that addiction with me. Now it's like winter time, it's like Christmas. It's freezing cold outside and I'm pushing him down the street in the neighborhood where I grew up my whole life in an umbrella stroller because I have nowhere to take him to get warm. I have no food to feed him. And I'm like, God, there's gotta be a way out. You know, um, I do a little bit of, I had some, I had a little bit of heroin in my pocket. I did that little bit that I had left. I thought was just a little bit, but ended up just being too much, right? Well, when I get to the park, the only thing that I remember, and everything goes black, is I remember I got to the picnic table and I sat down and I put my head like this, and then everything else just goes black. I don't remember nothing else from that point. The only thing that I do remember <clears throat> is coming to, and I'm in the ambulance, and I can hear my baby screaming. There was a lady who was an ex-CPS worker. She had been following me down the street from the store to the park the whole time. So she had been seeing me, you know, come in and out, in and out. And thank God she was there because she's the one who called, you know, for help and, you know, they got there and everything. Because if not, I don't think I'd have made it. I'd have been, I was unresponsive like 15 minutes, which is like, you know, when do, how do you come back from that, you know? But I have a purpose. And um, it took me a long time to figure out what my purpose was. But by being sober this time, I've been here, I've been sober a year on August the 1st was a year. And within my first year of sobriety, I have Kelijah back, my son, who all of this happened with, I have him back full custody. And I also have my two daughters that I lost like four years ago. I have them back full custody as well. And so like um, the overdose is what really was like grabbed my attention. Like this is real. Like you can potentially not ever come back from this. And like, and if you want to be here to raise your children, then like you need to do what's best for you. And so like, it didn't make me look at treatment differently. It made me open my eyes to my life differently and what I have to offer someone. You know what I mean? Um, I just want to let all the women out here who are still struggling with addiction with or without children, like there is a way out. Like don't let an overdose be your way out. You know, just there's help. You know what I'm saying? Um, because an overdose may be too late. You know, it just, it really might be too late.